Hello, boys and girls, moms and dads. I'm Miss Jackie. Welcome to Miss Jackie's Swim Place. I want you to meet my good friend, Sally Seal. Today's adventure, the lonely Scotty. <laughs> Hello, all you swimmers and swim safety friends. I'm Sally Seal, and I love my job as a lifeguard at Miss Jackie's Swim Place. I enjoy all the children so much, and I have fun with my animal friends, too. I want you to meet my very best doggy friend in the whole wide world, a Scottish terrier named Sterling Mary, whose family came from the beautiful and rugged country of Scotland way across the Atlantic Ocean. Sterling Mary's great-grandmother named Mala was born in the small Scottish village called Stirling and loved to run and play with children. I remember one day, not long ago, when Sterling Mary was visiting, Miss Jackie had lots of chores around our pool and Magic Garden. She asked me to do a safety walk to make sure everything looked safe for the children to swim and play. Since I was very busy and all the children were learning about pool safety on their walk, Sterling Mary felt lonely and needed a playmate. Sterling Mary ran over to Cardinal Cushing's tree and barked for him to play with her, but Cardinal Cushing was too busy building a new bird's nest. At that moment, Sterling Mary saw Frankie Frog and Lizzie Lizard heading for the pool. She was sure they would want to play with her. I'm sorry, but neither one of us can play with you right now, said Frankie Frog. That's right, said Lizzie Lizard. We never swim alone. Sterling Mary remembered seeing Tina Turtle earlier that day, so she ran to Tina's special rock by the fountain and asked her to play. Tina just yawned and pulled her head inside her shell. It was her nap time. Then, Sterling Mary noticed Miss Jackie doing something special beside the pond. She quickly ran to see what was going on. Miss Jackie had brought home lots of beautiful Japanese koi, a type of goldfish, to put in the pond. Mary was so happy, she ran round and round the fishing pond, barking with excitement to see her new goldfish friend. <laughs> The Japanese koi were the most beautiful and graceful fish Sterling Mary had ever seen. Shiny golden red, blue, white, orange, black, and every color you can imagine. Miss Jackie gave Mary a friendly but quick pat on the head, then hurried off to complete the other chores on her list. I had just finished my safety walk with the children and wondered if Sterling Mary was still looking for someone to play with. I scurried over to the other side of the backyard to find her. When I got over the little walking bridge over the fish pond, I was scared. There was Sterling Mary sitting and looking confused, trying to figure out why the fish had stopped playing with her. The goldfish were all lying very still on the rocks where Sterling Mary had put them. She did not know that the goldfish need to always be in the water to breathe with their gills. I quickly gathered all the goldfish with my flippers and put them all back in the goldfish pond where they belonged. I was hoping all our beautiful new friends were going to be all right. Soon, I noticed their fins started moving, then their fancy tails started moving, and they started swimming again. They were saved! As the startled Japanese koi began to move faster, they swam round the fish pond looking for a good hiding place. <laughs> Goldie Fish popped up from the pond. Everything is okay, Sally, said Goldie Fish. They are just a little frightened at the moment. <laughs> Sterling Mary did not mean to scare the fish or cause trouble. Now she realized how quickly and quietly trouble can happen. When Miss Jackie found out about Sterling Mary and the goldfish out of the water, she told the children about all the excitement and explained the difference between gills and lungs. Fish can breathe only in the water and they breathe 
through their gills, she said. People and most animals, such as Sally and Sterling Mary, have lungs, and they must have air to breathe, Miss Jackie said. Wow, I was really out of breath from my goldfish adventure with Sterling Mary, but I still had a few safety rules to share with the children. Sit down first and look around, keep your eyes open, and think. I'm really glad I could save all those nice goldfish today. I want to prevent accidents before they happen, I said to all the girls and boys. Sterling Mary was happy too. She didn't want to hurt the fish. She just wanted them to have as much fun as she was having. Always remember Miss Jackie's water safety rules first, I told Sterling Mary. Then the fun can really begin. Sterling Mary barked and ran around me in a circle three times. I knew that meant she understood very well. <coughs> I'm always excited when Sterling Mary comes by to visit. She loves to say hello to Goldie Fish and her new friends in the koi pond. <laughs> I always love to meet new friends too, and that means you. So hurry back to Miss Jackie's swim place where there are lots more stories to enjoy. Meanwhile, swim safely, have fun, and always remember, never swim alone.